going on people? Mike C-Town here with another Dead and Hip Hop Soul album review and today I'm going to talk about the new album by Soul and DJ Payne One entitled Nihilismo. If you're not familiar with Soul, he's a rapper that I first got familiar with I believe on his album Selling Live Water and that was probably back in 2003-2004, you know back before you whippersnappers were into hip hop, you know what I'm saying? This is back when indie rap was really really exciting, you know you had crews like Def Jux, Anacon, uh, Quantum, Project Blowed. The first artist I heard on Anacon was Alias and I was blown away and that led me to digging around and I eventually found Soul and I absolutely loved his shit. And what I thought was so dope about his music was that it was so off kilter and it was almost inaccessible. You know, pretty much the whole crew back then, Alias, uh, Dose One, Six Two, a lot of those guys were really making shit that was almost hard to be considered hip hop at the time and that was super exciting to me for some reason. Now, 13 years later, Soul is still at it. This time he's putting music out himself and he's still making challenging music. And uh, what I think is really interesting about Soul is that he's making music that's challenging to the ears as well as the mind. What's also cool is he's now doing music with DJ Payne One, who you may be familiar with from doing music with some really big names in mainstream rap music. You know, his resume would read kind of perplexing if you look at it, you know, because he has names like 50 Cent. Uh, Ludacris, Meek Mill, Schoolboy Q, Rick Ross, and now Soul, who's pretty much the antithesis of all of those rappers. To me, this is truly a testament of a great producer, someone who's able to produce beats for so many different types of artists and still have those artists coming out sounding unique and comfortable. What I mean by Soul's music being challenging to the ears is that he doesn't sound like your typical hip-hop artist. You know, he's not simply rapping over a beat. He has a style that's not really for everyone, but it's great for those of us who like really unconventional hip-hop. And when I say his music is challenging to the mind, what I mean is he's talking about things that a lot of your typical rap artists will not touch. Global awareness, social awareness, earth conservation, grassroots activism. Take a song like Track 2, uh, Too Small to Fail. He talks about doing everything career-wise himself, saying no to a label and putting music out himself. And I think the idea of being too small to fail is a really dope one. You know, if you put music out as a means to make a living, that's cool, but it's completely different from those who do it just for the sole purpose of getting rich. You know, work hard and get ahead, that's a fucking fairy tale. You don't have to rule the world if you're too small to fail. He doesn't have the pressure on him to be this big, flossy rapper because he's totally comfortable being a small indie rapper. Basically, I take this whole song as, you know, he's someone who isn't boasting about making money or trying to make a ton of money, but that doesn't mean that he's broke. He even talks about how he just bought a house off of being an indie rapper. And I've talked about this before on my channel and Dead in Hip Hop that if you want to be a successful artist, you can be successful. But people see success as these guys owning these big yachts and these private planes. And to a lot of us, that's not success, that's extravagance. So I like that Soul kind of brings that up in this song. Uh, and the way it rolls right into capitalism is tearing us apart is really dope. And you can tell by the title that this carries on the idea of being a slave to money. And I think the beat that Pain One did here is really cool. And the vocals that Decomposure did, it gives the song an almost pop sensibility. Which for soul fans, that can sound like a totally weird concept. But trust me, it really works. Especially with this completely infectious hook. Capitalism. Extinction Event is another standout track for me because I love the dark beat here and the chanted hook really works. And I love the line where he says, I'm telling your bosses, don't leave your needles where I walk. I'm just here flipping Beatles when I see them on the back. You know, once Beatles get on their back, they can't flip back over and with no assistance, they end up dying that way. So Soul is kind of saying his mission is to help the people out here who have gotten themselves into a similar situation. You know, stuck in this perpetual cycle of benefiting others and not themselves, stuck on their backs and not able to get back up. Or, you know, just slowly dying and not knowing any way to change it. Hostage Crisis is another standout track. I was really stoked to hear it once I saw that Chris from Propagandi was on it, because Propagandi is one of my favorite punk rock bands. And the cool thing is, it's not at all how I thought it was going to sound, and he didn't use Chris's voice the way I thought he would be used. It's a really, really dark beat, and it has Chris doing a nice hook on it that goes 
perfectly with the beat. Every forest cleared, every ocean a tomb. This is how it's always been. This is a story of war, its effects on people, and how those in power aren't interested in changing this because they just want to take over. They wanted a global village, but what's a village to a drone? What's also interesting with this album are songs like My Brand and Self Destruct, both having an almost trap sounding beat that you could easily see someone like T.I. or Jeezy rapping over it, and it's really interesting to see what Soul does with them. Just like it was super interesting for me to see what Soul did with that almost rock beat that starts off the album, uh, the song's called Generation Fucked, which is another great track. <laughs> Of course, I have to talk about the album Closer, uh, Exodus with Chesky. It's a fantastic end to the album if you're not looking at the bonus tracks. But it's an almost upbeat sounding song featuring some live instrumentation and a, an almost inspirational chorus from Chesky. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorite songs on this album. Life ain't shit but running out of time. Life ain't shit but running on empty and running out of money. You know, this line pretty much summed up the whole album to me. This is Soul's view of how most people see the world. They don't see it as living. It's just slowly dying with trying to live a life based on material shit that when you die won't fucking matter. And it might be an idea that you've heard before, but how many rappers are saying it? And how many rappers are saying it like this? Soul is direct, he's straight in your face, and he's giving you points that are very hard to argue with. Overall, I think Soul and Pain 1 put together a fantastic album with a great mixture of sounds and themes while having this, this kind of central idea of motivation. You know, Soul's motivating you to change your status in the world, not by making more money or, or by spending your life benefiting another motherfucker. He's talking about spending the time that you have on this earth helping, as he said, other drowning people or by focusing your attention on the things that really matter like family and stability and personal freedom. He says, I'd rather die like this than live in someone else's pocket. There you have it. So that's it. If you've heard this album, let me know what you think. Put some comments in the comment section down there. If you have not heard this album, make sure you go check it out. I'll put a link to go check the album out in the info section down there. Also, the clips used in this video were taken from his show in Atlanta, and he's still on tour, so make sure you guys go check him out. Support an artist that's truly trying to change the world, or at least he's trying to change your perception of what the world has the potential to actually be. So yeah, I'll put a link to go check out his tour dates. If you go, make sure you tell him C-Town sent you. And as usual, thank you for living, thank you for loving, thank you for being you. And I will see you guys next time. Aight!